Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about how you can pour your own jig heads to save money. It's super easy and I'm going to show you everything you need to know coming up next. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead down below and hit the subscribe button for me. I'm trying to reach at least a thousand subscribers by the end of the year, so if you could help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. And you won't miss any of my tips or videos. Okay, so first, let's go over all the things you're going to need. Right here, I just have a basic fork and a metal can. I'll show you what that's for at the later once we get the lead melted. This is a Lee production pot. You don't need the production pot, but it helps because you can use the downpour spout. You can pump baits out really, really fast. It saves you a bunch of time than doing the hand pour method. This is a production pot. I have some lead melting in there right now. I have it all the way turned up to try and get it to melt. So it is working on melting right now. This is the bait we're gonna be pouring today. It's just a round head jig mold. I'm gonna show you the most basic jig head to pour. I don't even paint these. I use them for finesse swim bait fishing. Uh, I basically put like a 3.3 or 3.8 Kitek on the back of them. Don't paint it, just fish it natural. And I, it's just a basic ball head jig. So we're gonna show you how to pour the easiest jig today just to get the basics of how to pour a jig. You're gonna need a pair of needle nose pliers. I use this to pull the sprues off the bait and I'll show you how to do that while we're pouring the jig as well. These are the hooks that you use in the mold here. These are the Gamagatsu 604. They're a little strong gauge, uh, just 90 degree jig hook that I use with my swim bait so I don't bend any hook out. I get these from Barlow's Tackle and this is what they look like right here. Let me grab this. That's what they look like, just a basic hook. The hook keeper is going to be molded in on lead, so you don't need any keepers or anything like that. This is just going to be hook and lead on a jig head. Super simple. We're going to show you how to do it. A couple other things. I always have a mask and gloves. I always wear them when I pour jigs, but I'm not going to do it for now just for this instructional because you wouldn't be able to hear me for anything that I'm doing. Always wear a mask and gloves when you're pouring lead. I do it 95% of the time. The only 5% is right now because... I want you to be able to hear this best you can. So always wear mask and gloves. And then you're going to need a big screwdriver like this. You may need this, you may not, depends on your pot. For my Lee pot right here, it goes in the top and I can twist this pin here if my lead starts to leak out the bottom, which it's not right now, but it might later. So that's what I keep the screwdriver for. And I always have a fan for whenever I'm pouring lead so I can blow the fumes out the garage. I'm not going to have it on for this so you can hear me again just like the mask and gloves. I always run the fan but for today I'm not going to just so you can understand what I'm saying and how I'm doing this. I'm only going to pour a couple and then I'll put my mask and gloves on to pour the rest. But always wear your mask and gloves and always have a fan on. It's lead. It's dangerous. Be careful with it but it'll save you a ton of money and it's very easy to do if you do it right. Okay so as you can tell my lead down there is molten now. It is liquid, but you can see there's all that stuff on top. That's where this fork comes in handy. You can see I just kind of scrape it to the side there, and you can see the clean lead underneath. And what you'll do is you scrape it, and you can scoop up all that impurities right there, and then I put it in my metal cup right here. Now there's going to be guys that say you need to buy candle wax and put it in there and stir it around and let it catch on fire, bring all the impurities up to the top. I don't do that. I buy my lead from rotometals.com and it comes 99.9% .9 clean and I just scrape the stuff off the top. It's going to get most of the impurities out. If there's a little bit in there, it's okay. I don't want to mess with burning my house down or anything like that. So I don't do the candle wax method. I pay a little extra for my lead from Roto Metals, but it's worth it because it comes mostly clean. I'm not melting my own lead or smelting or doing any of that stuff. I just buy clean lead right from Roto Metals and pour it just like that. Now the first thing you need to do to ensure success when you're pouring your jigs is make sure your mold is really hot. So while I'm heating up this lead still, I'm going to open my mold and set it on top just like that. You can see all the cavities and let the smoke and the heat from the lead heat up that mold so it pours cleanly and you don't get any bare jig heads or incomplete pours or anything like that. So we're going to get that heated up, getting some hooks ready, make sure they're ready to go, and then we'll get to pouring. Now that we got everything nice and hot, we're going to take our hook, we're going to get it ready to put it in the mold here. We're going to pour, I think we're going to do two at a time. We're going to do one eighth and a quarter. So you just lay your hook. Be, um, be careful when touching this mold, it is going to be very hot. So we're going to lay our hook in the little slots that they belong. You can use the pair of pliers if you need to. If you have gloves, it makes it a little bit easier to lay it in there and not burn yourself. 
So we got our two hooks laid in our mold there. They will rest in the cavity. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna close up our mold just like that. And you'll see there will be no seam. There will be no seam in the middle there, which means your mold is closed up correctly. And then we are going to get ready and pour. Okay, so now that we got our mold closed up, we're going to get ready and pour. We know that it's the third and the fourth cavity. You want to remember which ones they are if you're not pouring all your cavities. So then all you want to do is you're going to set this underneath the nozzle under here. You're going to lift this lever up. It's going to let them pour the lead down into the bottom. You want to fill it up to the top till it just about overflows and then stop. And then it will ensure that the lead is all the way wrapped around the hook, packed on there really good, and you'll get a good clean pour. So let's go ahead and pour a couple and then we'll show you how it's done. Set it up underneath there. Pour, stop, pour, stop. Then you let it cool. It'll solidify just like that. And then we'll take them out. And then to take these out of the mold, all you have to do is open them up, grab your pair of pliers, grab it by the hook here, pull it out of the mold, and set it aside. Then grab this one, pull it out of the mold, set it aside. So when I was talking about the sprue earlier, that is what this little thing is here. So where the nozzle is, it's gonna pack that lead down on the hook, but you're gonna get this little blob up on top. All you have to do is take your pair of pliers and grab that, wiggle it back and forth, and it'll come right off. You can drop that back into your pot to remelt, and then you'll have a little nub on the end here. You can see just barely, there's that little nub there. All you have to do is take a metal file, and then hit it a few times and get it all smoothed out. We'll go ahead and take the sprue off of this jig head as well. And then you can see, I just drop it right back in the pot. And then we'll take our metal file and file down the front of it. Get it nice and smooth. And you got two finished jig heads just like that. Okay, we're going to do one more pour in full speed here so you can see how fast and how easy this is. We're actually going to do three this time. We're going to also add in the three eighths ounce. And we're going to do the quarter. And we're going to do the one eighth. So we have a variety of swim bait heads that we can do some finesse swim bait fishing with. We're going to close this up make sure there's no gap in the mold. Now we know we got to go three, four, and five. So we're going to line it up underneath our pot. Pour, stop, pour, stop, pour, stop. And if it misses, you can readjust as you go. You can see it's starting to drip here. This is what I was talking about. All you got to do is wiggle this back into place and you can see it stops just like that. So you're good to go. Now we can open up our mold because they are cool now. You can see we got three jig heads done just like that. Grab them with your pliers, pull them out. Move your mold to the side. Grab your jig head. Twist off the sprue. Drop it back in your pot. Twist off the sprue. Drop it back in and twist this off and drop it back in and then we'll take our metal file file that down a little bit these are actually coming out pretty clean there's not a lot of filing you need to do with these honestly you don't if you don't have a metal file don't worry about it you can get these and just pour them rip the sprues off and you're good to go there's another one done and this is the 3 8 ounce one. We'll go ahead and file that one up a little bit. There you go, just like that we poured three jig heads, super easy. We're not gonna paint these ones. Like I said, we're fishing these on a finesse swim bait rig, so I don't really paint them, I just leave them silver. You could paint them white or something if you wanted to, but you don't really have to. All right guys, we've been pouring for about 15 minutes here. You can see we got five of each variety. I got five 3 8 five quarter, and five 1 8 
super easy to do. These are with Gamagatsu hooks too. So if you were to buy these round ball head jigs on Tackle Warehouse, they're gonna go for like $5 for a five pack. So that's $15 worth of jigs that I've just poured right there in 15 minutes. Super easy, super easy to do. Great winter project. Even on a nice day like today, I'm getting ready to go up to Lake Erie on Monday or Tuesday, do another Lake Erie video. And I don't have time to either get these jigs or it would be too expensive to buy a bunch of them. So I can just pour them up real fast. I got 15 ready to go for my trip on Monday and I'm good, I'm good to go. I hope you enjoyed today's video on how to make your own jig heads. If you enjoyed these tackle making videos, leave a like down below and make sure you comment so I can make some more for you. I have a bunch of ideas on different tackle making videos I can do. So make sure you let me know if you enjoyed them and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any more of my fishing tips or videos. Thanks for watching.